do, you know, most of the things I want to do. I'm, I'm lucky, you know, and, I, and I'm grateful. And I'm grateful to a lot of things. I'm grateful to this area because, you know, they they supported us. I'm grateful to the Kraft family for continuing to support the alumni. Um, I, but as to those girls, are you dad, the football player, or dad, the, the sweet, soft, you know, you know, easy, you know, Dad says yes, Mom says no. Growing up, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I think uh, I think to uh, a couple of my dad's football player, you know, there's one Kelly, my number four. She, you know, she would have been the football player. She was just had that mentality, and, and she uh, she knows football, and, and um, so I think she is the one that uh, I'm the football player too. But I'm the dad also. But uh, the other ones, you know, football was again it was really a neat experience for them because my oldest couple of kids. You know, they got to go to a Super Bowl. They got to go to the Pro Bowl with me and and uh, experience some of those things. And so that was wonderful doing that. Um, but again, you know, I, I was I was lucky. You know, I was drafted by a team that needed linebackers. I came to an area of Foxborough which was like I grew up in Minnesota. There's no transition. You know, I came from a smaller program, a one double A school, in North Dakota State, which was a great school, great program, but it was a one double A school. So uh, I think Ron Earhart who was the offensive coordinator for the Patriots, and my head coach in college was very instrumental in having me come out here. I was lucky there. I mean, I was lucky. And, and you know, I, I worked hard and I had talent and all that stuff. But you have to have breaks, and I got the breaks. And I got into a team which was a good football team. We had great players, and we had some great seasons. And, uh, you know, I had some injuries, but it doesn't. You know, I, I, Jack, I just, I'm lucky. Well, you had... It was, got to be with Bob O'Bell. Yeah, that was a, Are you kidding me? You got to interview with Bob? Still here. He only, he only yeah. came around when we lost, though. He never came around when we won. Well, the story yeah. so the best story is always in the losing locker. <laughs> it wasn't much fun after that Super Bowl. No. Uh, Hannah was the first guy I ran into after that in the locker room. I don't want to go down that road at <laughs> all. No. No. You're still in one piece. But you're kind of, you guys were kind of a, a really close knit group with Grogan, you, uh, Hannah, the rest, uh, Hasselbeck, all of them. You were kind of out of the out of the same mold, and uh, I got the impression talking from Hannah that you guys really deserved better in terms of the ownership and the whole surroundings. That you did everything you could, even during the strike, which you guys met at the Pancake House. That was a fa- fascinating, unbelievable that was. Uh, time, wasn't it? When you look back, it was it was really. It was all about human nature and, and what people do, and uh, it could really be a lesson. But you know, I, I know some of the ex-players have uh, you know problems with solving. I never had a problem with solving, Bob. You know, and he never told me anything that he didn't do. And uh, you know, it's not easy being an owner with a bunch of guys like we we were. You know, yeah. and and uh, you know, so I, yeah, I think he did the best he could with what he had. And, um, you know, Pat Sullivan, I think Pat is a good man, and, and uh, you know, he had a lot of responsibility, and he was a young guy, so he kind of fought his way through everything like we all do, and, you know, I, I think he was a good owner, you know, and, and uh, again, it's, it's been 20 years ago, you know. It's, it's hard, that's hard to believe. Yeah, let's, you know, let's all think about the good things. Now, let's think about the good things, and, and, and I go right to the regrets that you, you're not you never played for Belichick or the Crafts, or you weren't on. You might have gotten a ring. I'm sure you have, a, you know, some three three rings as an alumni, but you didn't. weren't on the field. And I, it's funny. I asked, we asked Fist the same question. You know, he's got two rings: a Red Sox ring and a White Sox ring, and he wasn't on the field for either one of them. And he said yeah. that that kind of hurts. Well, my biggest regret is that we didn't. I wasn't a member. 